Once you understand how you can make the front end using JSX and Tailwind in Next.js application, let's take a look at how you can create the backend. Don't worry, you don't have to create a new project for the backend. So what we are going to do is we are creating an API to get the data from the backend. To do that, I'm using here a pages folder and inside that you can see we have this folder called API. Here we create an API to access the data of the backend and then we pass that data to the components. So let's take a look at how we can create the API. When you open the API folder, you can see here you have the hello.js file. If you open this file, you can notice you have the default export function and this function is going to return a response with the status code 200 with the JSON data. If you open your website and if you head on to API hello, when you press enter, then you can notice, then you can notice you're going to have this file data as a response. So if you make a GET request to this endpoint, you will get this data. So this API folder is going to make this hello endpoint. And this endpoint is going to return this data. In this project, we are creating different endpoints to access the backend data. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new data file inside this API folder. Instead of getting the data from the database, I'm going to make a mimic of the database using a data.js file. So inside this API here, I'm going to create a new file and name this file data.js. Using this file, I'm going to mimic a backend data. So I'm going to grab some data and put that inside this file, something like this. So I'm going to just put some backend data inside this file. So you can see inside this file, we have an array of objects. And inside this object, we have different properties. I'm using these properties to pass value to the front end. Now, you don't have to worry about this data. You can download this file when you check out inside the API branch. So you have to just clone this project and check out inside this 12 underscore API branch. When you check out inside this branch, you can download this data.js file. Now, just out of that, once you have your backend data, you have to access this data and create an API. You can see how easy it is to make the backend mimic. We just need to create a data.js file and export an object. And this object is going to have all the data of this project. Now, if you want, you can put this data in the backend database as well, just like in the MongoDB or in the SQL. But don't worry, in the next project of Next.js, I'm going to show you how you can make the employee management using a backend database. So don't worry about that. You will learn everything step by step. Just consider this as a backend mimic. So you have your data. If you want, you can move this file inside the pages as well or somewhere else inside a database folder as well. That's up on you. Just for this example, I'm going to put this in the API folder. Now, because this is just a mimic of backend data, I'm going to put this data.js file inside this API. Once you download this data.js file, save it back to the API. And here, I'm going to create a new endpoint. When you create a new file inside this API, that became the endpoint of the API. So when you create a new file, so I'm going to just create a new file and I'm going to name this trending.js. Now, this file name is now became the endpoint. So what we need to do is, we need to create this handler function inside this trending. To make the handler function, let me first add here a command and specify here API endpoint. So we pass here API trending. So to access this data of this file, you have to just head on to API trending. And here I'm going to export a default function and I'm going to name this function handler. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this function. Just for that, to this function, you need to pass two parameters request and response. With these parameters, you can get the request and response of the HTTP request. Just for that, I'm going to get the data from this data file. I'm going to get this trending object inside a variable. So to get that, I'm simply going to say constant. In the object, we pass trending is equal to, and then I'm going to pass the data variable, the default object. Now, as you know, we don't have this data object, so we need to first import this file so I'm going to say here, import data from data.js. So I'm going to just access this file data using this data variable. So this is going to return this trending object inside this trending variable. So I'm just using the JavaScript destructuring. Just out of that here, I'm going to say if we have data inside this trending object, or you can say inside this trending variable, then I'm going to return response.status 200 which is the OK status. And then I'm going to return the JSON data. So we pass here trending. And if we don't have any data, 
I'm going to just return response dot status 404. This is the error code. And then I'm going to return a JSON response inside an object. So we pass here error. And in the double code, we pass data not found. Something like this. Let me save the changes. Back to my project. And here, instead of this hello, I'm going to say trending and press enter. You can see I'm going to have my data as a response. So this endpoint is going to return this array of objects. So you can see we have this array of object and inside this object we have the post data. Now just out of that let me do the same thing for this popular array. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file inside this API or you can say I'm going to create a new endpoint here and I'm going to name this popular.js and this is going to be the API popular endpoint. Here I'm going to say export default function handler don't forget to pass a request and response parameter because without it you can't execute this handler function just out of that here i'm also going to import my database file so i'm going to say here import data from data and then i'm going to say constant in the object i'm going to say popular is equal to data so i'm going to destructure this array inside this variable and just for that i'm going to say if we have object or data inside this popular variable then i'm going to return a response dot status 200 dot json and in the json i'm going to return this data and if we don't have any data in this variable i'm going to return response dot status 404 dot json and inside an object we pass error data not found let me save these changes back to my project and instead of trending i'm gonna say popular when i press enter you can see i'm going to have my data as a response so now using these endpoints i can access this data and then i can specify this data to the front end 